Hey, good morning, Chip. So um, I'm going to show you how I did that circuit board real quick. So I start off with a, um, a vector image. And I'm going to go here and get it. I have system chip three, this little vector image here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just immediately export it out as an SVG. Uh, right here, SVG, scalable vector graphic. And uh, I'm sure you know about this. I'm going to save it right in here. Whatever this comes up, I just leave it. I do the standard option. And then I just quit out of Illustrator, go in the Blender. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to import the SVG. And it's in my kit bashing right here. So basically, I import it, select all with the A. I scale it up to about you know, size of a plane. Uh, scroll in on it. Some stuff's like inside of it, as you can see, like here, you'll see duplicates. So I'll just click that, hide it, click this one, and hide it, click this one, and hide it, and then just delete whatever's in there. And then bring it back and you know, you'll see there's some in here. It's just the way the vector was made. So I'm just gonna snatch them up. All right, so <clears throat> now that I have everything done, I'm basically going to select one piece, tell it to convert to mesh, then I'm going to select all and tell it to convert to mesh. So now they're all converted to mesh. I'll drag it out of that collection. So then my next move would be to select all, tap into the face, select all, and then I'm going to extrude, just extrude a little up like so. Oops, just a little bit. Tab back out of this. And it's starting to come together. Now it's, this is the tedious part. So I'm just going to go here and select all the wires, all the circuitry. Basically, these are lines. So the line work didn't really extrude, which is good because now I'm gonna I'm gonna grab these pieces. Just here, I'm just done. Let's see, is that it? No, I got one here, one there, and yeah, that looks about like all of them. Okay, so now I'm going to go in here. I'm going to convert these to curve. I'm going to go to adjust my curve, hit two on the profile, hold shift, and I'm just going to, oop, just to the, and then I'm going to hit G on the Z, slide them down like so. And while I have them selected, now I'm going to go to the metal and pick the titanium mat. It didn't do it all, so I just had to. Okay, so let's do this. I'm select all these and hide them. I'm gonna select this one and make it this end line, and then I'm gonna select them all and do that. And bring back the other ones and let's try it again. See if I can just add that material. Okay, well, let me do it. All right, so. I didn't think I had to select all these. I did it before to where, oh, you know what it is? Hold on a minute, let me back this up a couple hits. Uh, while I have this selected, let's go back to mesh. Then you add the material. There we go, that's what I did. So then I wanna undo that, then I wanna hide these, select this one, make it that, select all, make it that, bring it back, boom. There's our circuit board. Now I'm just gonna tweak a couple things here and like take that and turn it back to this. And then I could just grab that row. Hit this one. Grab that row. Grab that row. This one. And yeah. Alright, so that's about it. So at this point, um, I'm going to select all, and I'm going to go to origin, and then go to my top 
for the graphic view and just kind of eyeball up the center of this which is kind of like I guess like this yeah it looks good then all transformations and then I'm going to add a mesh plane um, there you go. I'm going to go over to my view display and tell it to be wire up here I'm going to hit period and tell it not to print or uh, render and now I'm going to grab that select all hit all transforms select this again select all and then I'm going to parent the object this might take a minute oh, didn't take long at all and then I'm going to save this as actually I'm going to purge it 402 data box and then I'm going to save as I have this standard one I've been saving I just saved this before I create an insert okay so I'm going to delete this here. So all I have is my plane, and now I'm going to hit Create Insert. Okay, and... <clears throat> scroll key make sure everything here is solid and uh, she could be good to go and we're good so this is going to be system underscore chip 03 and I'm going to save the insert into my batch folder And I've already made the thumbnail and set it up so I'm just it's already in the folder in the K-Pack. So this is just a demonstration on how I made it. So hope this worked out for you. So I'm gonna start a new scene. And I believe I'm just gonna bring a cube in. refresh my inserts go down to here and it was the third one it was system chip three and I'm just gonna add it in I'll scroll it down at the center and there we go and basically all I'm gonna do is turn the cube to be the, the dark color and turn off the wireframe and there you go so yeah, man, I hope this worked out for you. I hope this helps or however you want to do it. And uh, yeah, talk to you later.